What's going on YouTube? Today we have a set three team affinity tier list video and a lot of these cards are really, really good this time around. I'm glad they took some feedback and made the adjustments that they had to make because set two was kind of underwhelming. But before we hop into it, if you guys are new, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notification bells on so you get notified every single time a video of mine goes live. And while ranking these cards, I did not take into account the Freddie Freeman or the Spencer Strider boost that you get through this uh, Team Affinity set three collection because the Freeman boost really makes a lot of these hitters very good. And Strider makes some of the pitchers pretty decent as well, but I want to rate these cards based off their like pure stats that they come with without having to use a boost i just want to talk about the card by itself without the boost so let's hop into it all right so as you guys can see here sadly in the d tier i have five cards and four of them are pitchers in this new set of team affinity it's very hitter heavy and the pitchers that we got really aren't that great so i have hunjin ryu jr richard liam Hendricks, vita blue and troy gloss but hunjin ryu he only has like 92 hits per nine. Very good walks per nine and good pitching clutch too, but he's kind of like a dollar general version, I guess, of Greg Maddox with this many good hitters. 92 hits per nine is just not good enough to throw in your rotation. J.R. Richard throws very hard and he has a funky motion, but his pitch mix is just not ideal for ranked. Liam Hendricks cards are never really good in Diamond Dynasty as well. He kind of has is what people call a Joe Random pitch mix, just fastball slider change up and then i think he has a two seam as well and vita blue again he doesn't have anything special on his card i think it's fastball change up slider and a curveball pitch mix is not the greatest and i threw troy gloss in the d tier as well because personally i'm not that great with him i don't think his swing is very good at all whatsoever but i just think there are some better cards in this new set of team infinity i'm gonna head into the c tier here where i have eight cards so we have jake lamb jake peavy jim rice max scherzer Paul Canerco, Salvi, Tom LaStella, and Tori Hunter. Jake Lamb is known as an MLB The Show legend. In the older MLB The Shows, Jake Lamb has the nickname Rake Lamb for a reason. He's always had a very good swing in the game, but his Team Affinity card in this new set is kind of underwhelming. He only has 95 clutch, and while he is 112, 117 against righties, 95 clutch, you can't even really use him as a pinch hitter. 95 clutch, and then he's only 73, 93 against lefties, which I just feel like does not play whatsoever. Jim Rice, on paper, has very good stats. I believe he has over 100 in everything, including contact, power, clutch, etc. But his swing is dog shit. He has, in my opinion, one of the worst swings in the game. If you're a fan of his swing, then he has good attributes but Jim Rice very good on paper but his swing is just not ideal Paul Konerko again not a bad card he's okay you know I don't think he's anything special you know especially since he's a first baseman he has good power but 89 contact against lefties 102 clutch is decent as well I think he is a good card and he has good quirks but I think there's just nothing crazy about him and then we have Salvi you know he's has very good power against lefties but his contact is lacking in my opinion, especially again, this late in the year, only 90 contact, 97 power against righties is a little low and only a hundred clutch. So, and there's a, another catcher in here that we're going to talk about that I think is a lot better than Salvi's. That's why I put him down in the C tier. The contact is a little low at this point in the year. And then Tommy LaStella, again, he's kind of like Jake Lamb, good against righties, but low clutch. Fielding is nothing great and he has low speed for a second baseman. So he's going to have trouble getting to those balls up the middle. I just think it's an average card and then Tory Hunter is an okay outfielder he is a primary center fielder with 94 contact against righties good contact and he has that good power a lot of these home run derby cards here in team affinity have 115 pop which is nice 87 fielding 77 speed the contact is a little low again because it is the home run derby card and I think at this point of the year that contact needs to be a little bit higher now I have two pitchers here in the C tier and we're gonna start with Jake Peavy he has very good stamina good hits per nine his case per nine and his walk per nine are a little bit low at 94 and 87, but he has 88 pitching clutch. Well, I've used cards in the past, like say Dustin May, where they were kind of similar, good hits per nine and lower pitching clutch. While he does have that good pitch mix, he just doesn't throw hard enough to warrant an 88 pitching clutch. This 88 pitching clutch is not going to be enough for me, especially when he only tops out at 94. And the other starting pitcher that we have here in the C tier is Max Scherzer. Scherzer, kind of the same thing. You know, he has 102 hits per nine. Case per nine is good at 98. 90 walks per nine is 
all right nothing spectacular 94 pitch and clutch i just feel like again that is low he has a fastball circle change slider slurve and a cutter so an interesting pitch mix he has nothing that breaks in on righties though so everything's gonna be breaking away just opposite hand and everything's gonna break into a lefty so you really can't mix it up too much with him well i don't think this card is bad there's a couple other pitchers in this team affinity that i think are a little bit better so as we hop into the b tier again we have eight cards in this tier as well so we have charlie morton d strange gordon jesse winker josh bell larry doby mitch hanniger Noah Syndergaard and Ryan Ludwig. So I'm going to start off with the pitchers this time. And I'm going to start off with Charlie Morton. He's always been a glitchy pitcher in the show. He's always had that good pitch mix. He has no slider. So his pitch mix is a 12, a primary 12, six, which is interesting. You don't really see that too often out of card. And then he has a fastball, a sinker, cutter, and a splitter. Very good hits per nine. Case per nine, walks per nine is a little bit low, but he has 109 pitching clutch. So he has the hits per nine, has a pitching clutch, and he has sinker cutter. So he is definitely usable, but I really wish he had like a primary slider instead of a 12, six. I'm not a big fan of curveballs in this game. And then the other starter that I have here in the B tier is Noah Syndergaard so again his hits per nine is a little low you know it is 99 but he has 102 pitching clutch stamina is a little bit low as well but he has a very good pitch mix he has a sinker has a slider a circle change four seamer and a slurve and he also has outlier on that sinker so Syndergaard is going to throw gas he always has one of those glitchier releases as well so while the hits per nine is a little bit low the pitching clutch is at 102 well Syndergaard's not great I would say he's above average you know having five pitches with the slider and a fifth pitch as a slurve too it's really slow Oh, it's at 83 would definitely maybe give this card a shot you know he throws gas throw him in your rotation see how he does now we're gonna get into the hitters and i might get a little flack for this i don't know this d strange gordon looks kind of glitchy to me so he has max contact max clutch 92 fielding and 99 speed 99 steel he's a primary second baseman he also plays short and all the outfield positions he only has 45 and 48 power if he had like 60 ish power this card would get a lot of line out so with 45 and 48 power this car is just going to be a, a base hitting machine. Whether you want to throw him in your leadoff spot, if you want to lay down a couple bunts, he has 99 bunting. I really think this card is very underrated. And now you have Mr. Jesse Winker. He's a primary left fielder with max contact against righties, 108 power. He's only 78, 96 against lefties, but he has 120 clutch. That definitely makes a big difference in this card. This is a hundred percent a platoon card, or if you need a pinch hitter late in the game, we're going to stick in the NL central here. And we're going to go Josh Bell switch hitter primary first baseman you could throw him in left and right too he has secondaries there but wouldn't recommend throwing the big guy in the outfield you know he's 102 110 against righties 80 101 against lefties with 118 clutch very very nice seeing that with a switch hitter he has good power his swing is very very good it's just 80 contact against lefties does hurt him a little bit we're gonna hop over to AL Central now where we have Larry Doby he has max clutch 100 115 against righties a little low with 97 80 against lefties but I think what makes this card interesting he's a primary center fielder which i wouldn't run him there but he has second base secondary which i don't think we, i've ever seen on a larry doby card and using this card at second he'll have 80 fielding with 78 arm 65 speed a little bit slow but i think it makes this card a little bit more interesting and while he is low against lefties i just think having that versatility of being able to throw him at second base makes this card interesting for some people you know second base is kind of a weaker spot doby he has a good swing very good against righties and max clutch so that's why i'm gonna put him in the b tier and the next one is mitch hanniger has very good stats against righties 103 108 122 contact against lefties with 87 power wish that power was a little bit higher and 99 clutch you know it's almost at 100 but could that could be a little bit higher especially when his contact is at 103 and 122 good fielding good enough arm strength 56 speeds a little slow he's a primary right fielder i'd say he's a little bit above average like he has a good contact and hanniger has a good swing so that's why i'll throw him in the b tier and then the last guy that i'm gonna throw in the b tier is a new legend this is his first good card of the year is ryan ludwig's 108 96 against righties 90 119 against lefties with 103 clutch so he does have those reverse splits in a sense with the contact 90 contact against lefties is a little bit low he only has 96 power 69 vision it's nice and all but it is a little bit low for some people i know a lot of people care about vision in this game don't even get me started on that but this card's kind of like a question mark for me he could be worse or he could be a lot better you know 
I don't know how he is, but I feel like a B tier, just looking at the card on paper, I feel like that's fair for him. All right, hopping into the A tier. We got five players here. So we got Jesus Aguilar, Joey Gallo, Chris Bryant, Mike Soroka, and new legend Raul Ibanez. Jesus Aguilar, his card is honestly kind of insane. He's got 98 contact against righties, 102 contact against lefties with 115 power, 115 clutch. Aguilar has an insane swing. He is a primary first baseman, but I feel like this card is more of a DH. I just think this card is gonna play way above his stats. Very good swing and the ball just always flies off of his bat. Staying in the NL Central, we're gonna go with Chris Bryant again. All these home runs are because cards they got 115 power and chris bryant has very good contact on this you know he's 103 against righties 96 against lefties with 103 clutch it is a little low but it is enough and he's very versatile that's what i really like about this card too also plays first and he plays every outfield position so he plays left center and right 78 fielding 83 arms 78 speed kb swing is very good in this game you can make it work i do think this chris bryant is one of the better cards in this program sticking with the hitters here you gotta go with Joey Gallo, right? He has max power. 80 clutch is low. I will talk about that in a second. 86 contact against righties and 108 against lefties. So he does have those reverse splits. He's a primary center fielder. 83 fielding, 99 arm with 53 speeds. Don't think I'd be throwing him out there in center field. I'd either throw him in the corner outfield or maybe throw him over at first base or, or even third base too. That 99 arm would be really nice. I know that contact against righties is low and 80 clutch is not ideal either. He's Joey Gallo. I mean, he's gonna just absolutely mash on a lower difficulty. A guy with 125 power and it's Joey Gallo. He's going to absolutely rake, man. If that contact, the clutch, and the vision, if it was a little bit higher, he would be in the S tier. But again, it's Joey Gallo. I'll throw him in the A tier. And for the last hitter here in the A tier, I'm going to go with Raul Ibanez. So he has 92 contact against righties, 105 power, and he has a reverse splits of 101, 118 against lefties with 97 clutch. Primary left fielder, also plays first and right. 71 fielding, 78 arm with 52 speed. Ibanez's swing is elite. I've used his 89 card. I've used it before. I've taken some batting practice with him and I've been waiting since like week one until a good Ibanez card. And I just know that he is going to play above his stats. The last card I want to talk about in the A tier here is Mike Soroka. So I think this card intrigues me a lot because he has 106 hits per nine. Pace per nine is a little bit low. That's what knocks him down to the A tier in my opinion. 111 pitching clutch and he has sinker, slider, fastball, circle change, cutter. That's like the perfect pitch mix for this year. And as we get into the S tier here, you can see we have four cards remaining. We have David Dahl, Gary Sanchez, Jonathan Scope, and Trey Turner. So the first one I'm gonna talk about here, we're gonna go left from right. We're gonna start off with David Dahl. I think he could potentially be the best card in this program. I think a lot of people are gonna overlook this card. 112, 102 against righties, 123 contact against lefties with 87 power, 122 clutch. 75 fielding, 84 arm, 75 speed. He is a primary center fielder, so I'd probably throw him in left. He doesn't have any quirks, but Dahl swing is elite. He has good power. He has good contact. He has good clutch. Don't overlook David Dahl. His swing is absolutely butter. Definitely give David Dahl a shot. When you get that NL West done, Dahl should be your first pick. Next, we are gonna talk about the two AL East cards. We're gonna start with Gary Sanchez. I mean, on paper, this card is just friggin' incredible. 102, 115 against righties. 101, 115 against lefties, but 113 clutch. Again, it's a Gary Sanchez card. He's gonna absolutely rake. I don't care if he doesn't have quirks. His swing is elite. He has 100 plus contact, 115 power across the board and 113 clutch. This is by far the best catcher in the program. One of the just best pure hitting cards in the entire program. I genuinely think Gary Sanchez is one of the best catchers in the game. And I will probably be using Gary as my catcher until I get that 99 ad lead. And sticking in the AL East, we're going to go over to Jonathan Scope. As a primary second baseman, his hitting stats are just incredible. 107-95 against righties. 117-109 against lefties with 114 clutch. 
84 fielding, 90 reaction, 62 speed. I mean, it's Jonathan Scope. He just absolutely mashes in game. Has one of the better swings out of the cards in this Team Affinity program. Definitely a very underrated card. And I do think he's deserving of the S tier because I know how Jonathan Scope cards play. And then the last card in the S tier we have is 97 Trey Turner. I look at this card and I immediately think of his WBC card, but kind of like a dumbed down version in a sense. 109 82 against righties 125 90 against lefties with 125 clutch the only reason why he's a little bit worse than his 99 that he has is his fielding is only at 79 but he has 99 speed it's trey turner it doesn't really matter what the attributes are he's always going to play above his stats and with the max clutch and 109 contact against righties with good enough power he's gonna be a demon you can plug this card back in at second base where i feel like a lot of people use his 99 and they'll use this 97 Trey Turner because he'll be just as good for you. So that is going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tier list. If there's anything you guys don't agree with or if there's something that you do agree with, let me know down in the comments below. I could have a different take on a card of yours. You know, I might say a card is great and you might say, hey, nah, he is dog shit. So let me know down in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys next time.